going to click on the brush menu user define now you guys are more than welcome to color them if you want so we've got all sorts of ones I'll just do the ones that we just did with our little tag kid so we would be able to color these if we wanted to on the fly I am NOT going to do that on this one and then again the brushes the palettes the anchor point guides those are all on jasonsecrets.com just put in your name and then I will email you the folder and that is a live folder so you guys can keep getting all of the resources as new stuff comes out so I wanted to, to do it that way rather than every single time having to put your name in that would be ridiculous okay so what we are looking for is if lines touch another line we want to make sure that those have a fat edge we are going to be modifying these a tiny bit and what we're really looking for every time we do it is that the edges do in fact overlap so that is what we are looking for so I'm on the black arrow by the way this is probably just gonna be solid so I'm not gonna worry about that one but I want fat on both ends mm -mm -mm. good and then as you guys are adding the thicknesses just be aware that you can move and modify some of these points just to make sure the edges are playing out the way you want to. I am going to leave these alone for right now. We will come back and uh, add some of the tapers to them, but I do want to fill them first and then come back and do that. So just be aware that we're going to kind of modify the process a tiny bit for that. Okay, this is actually going all the way around, remember? And I want that one to be one. That would be fine. This is going to go fat to taper. 0.5. I say a little much fatter than that. Good. I want those to be both fat. And pretty much every time when I do it, I am double checking that those corners, especially with the fat on both ends, that it does overlap so it doesn't get funky later. Okay, that's going to go fat taper. No matter what, it's always the opposite. As long as that bottom corner is there, then that would be fine. Mm, doesn't bother me. Let's go taper, taper. Let's drop that down. Let's drop that down. Now on these teeth, so notice that these, I didn't delete the top. I do want the shape to stay the same when we add the brushes, so that was deliberate. So when we do the fan on both ends, that it does go all the way up to the gum line rather than having it stop. So I do want those to go all the way up fat-wise here. Good. Let's go fat to skinny. And as long as this little point goes over, then that'll work out just fine. I don't think I'm going to do anything. Yeah, let's go. This. Let's do those and then drop them way down, actually. I'll take this outside edge and I'm going to make that 0.5. Let's go taper, taper. Keep in mind you guys can always zoom in and zoom out. That's just so when we put in the brushes, we pretty much see what the brush shape looks like. We also are looking for any of that overage. But we also want to kind of just look at the composition as a whole. Is there something that we could add on a thickness to? Okay, 
let's do the I say that's gonna go tapered on both sides this is gonna go fat on both sides Say fat to taper, good. Let's see if we can get them all done. I want it to be tapered. Good, this one can be... I don't know if it bothers me or not. We'll leave it there for right now. So any of these little tiny tapers, you just wanna make sure that those are overlapping as well as these corners are extending over. If it doesn't, not that big of a deal. We can always change it and fix it a little bit later. I want those to go fat to skinny on outs. Let's drop that down. Good. Oh, let's go fat here, skinny over here. I am okay with that. I'm just gonna fatten that one up. I am gonna go, let's go fat on both ends. All right, good, let's do the legs. So I want them to be basically fat up at the top. Let's go two with them. And pretty much as long as that overlaps itself, that's kind of what we're looking for. You can always extend it up if you feel that the leg is not going in the correct direction. All right, I want that to be fat over on the side and let's make it tapered towards the middle. Good, let's go fat on both ends, good. This is all just gonna get silhouetted out, so that's all fine. Good, good, good. Let's just make that fatter. That's gonna get silhouetted out, so that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, okay. This one is just gonna get fatter, so let's go two, oh, let's go three with it. So that's gonna go fat on the ends. I say 0.75 with each one of these. I say we're gonna go tapered. That does not bother me, okay. Let's drop those down to 0.5, good. I want that one to go fat to skinny towards the crease, good. I say fat on both ends. That looks good. Let's fatten this one up to two. Let's go X. Those are tapered on both ends. Let's go 0.25. It's kind of subtle. Mm -mm -mm. While we are waiting, I say we do a file save check. Save check. Save check. Okay. I think we are good. Good, good, good. So what we are looking for now is this is where we kind of zoom in, do a little boogie check at the end, see if we have all of our little overlaps where we want them to. Keep in mind, nothing is expanded yet, nothing is united yet, so we still have quite a bit of flexibility with things. 
we're just kind of double checking that are things going where you want them to go maybe I'll bring that guy up okay I just switched those two fat on both ends all right I think we're good I'm gonna go file save file save and this is basically what the next step is so this is the brushes I'm gonna duplicate it out lockout brushes this is where we were going to basically go brushes. I'm going to double click and just go expand. So we're going to basically grab everything. And this is where, before we do this, we just want to make sure that thicknesses are good. We've already double checked that. We double checked the edges, things like those, um, just before we do that. So we, if we want to modify the stroke, I think it's easier to modify the stroke than the whole shape. So just be aware of that. Usually the magic number is two until we get a little pop up. All right, so this is basically where I'm going to end this video. Um, notice that we have not done our, there's a few things that we are going to come back to after we do the color, and that's why we want to make sure that this brushes stays nice and locked out because we will come back to it. But this is pretty much the process. I'm going to select a shape with the black arrow, shift E, and all I'm going to do is get rid of the overlapping. So I'm going to select a shape. If I want to control the brush size of the eraser, I can just come back and modify that. So this is a very, very easy process. The only thought process that you're really doing during this is just what's in front of something. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way through this and then I'm going to come back once we are done. And that is so you can see kind of what the final looks like. And then you can pretty much modify uh, yours. That's when you could just pause it and then just double check it. So that is what we're going to do. So I'm going to just fly through this and then I will see you on the other side and uh, we'll just double check it before we move on to the color demo uh, after this video. Alright, so we are done with the eraser tool. I wanted to select everything. I'm going to unite them and that is just if we have the same color. So we are going to basically go to live paint bucket. We're going to go to make and then we're basically just going to fill in the black at the end of this video and then on the coloring demo we'll actually go in and start coloring all the rest. So right now I just wanted to kind of give you a sense of where all of the black is so you get a little bit more of a, an official end point here. And I am just going to do the mouth. If you don't want the hair to be black then you do not need to do that but I'm basically going to do underneath the sleeve the hair and that's pretty much it when it comes to the black everything else will be colored so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, expand everything and then I'm going to unite what I just filled so all of the black lines are all on the same layer and there's also not any weird ghostly little effects so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the color demo thanks for hanging out I will see you on the Frankenstein coloring tutorial and that's where we're gonna start to do flat color add in our custom shadows as well as the transparent gradients and then we're gonna fill it finish up Frankie here thanks for hanging out guys